Hey, hey, Lunch Bunch! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are going to be having Steak and Shake, and I am so hungry. Cannot wait to dive in. I can tell you right now this is going to be a long mukbang at the very least. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of food, so make sure you grab a snack or some food to eat with me, and let's get to opening up some Steak and Shake. So, to start things off, I have a vanilla milkshake with whipped cream and a cherry in there somewhere. I had a coupon, okay? That's why we're doing Steak and Shake two videos in a row. Last week's video was a Steak and Shake breakfast mukbang, which was really good. <laughs> and this week we are doing a steak burger because mom had a coupon. So I got all of this for like $7. Pretty excited. So I've got my house salad as one of my sides. And then, and I've got myself some water to drink because the um, meal came with a burger, a side salad, french fries, and a milkshake. Um, I also got a medium sized thing of onion rings because I had a coupon for 99 cent onion rings. So there's my french fries. And we've got our double cheese steak burger. So I am so hungry, you guys. I just got done donating plasma. I knew I was going to do this mukbang today, so I did not really eat breakfast. I had like a banana and some water. Oh, yum. Onion rings. French fries. Let's try their onion rings. Pretty good. Yum. Mm. I'm so hungry. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good today. While I was donating plasma, there was a guy next to me who was a new donor. He'd never donated before. And apparently, like, he was almost to the end of his donation. And he, like, stopped playing on his phone and started looking, like, at his blood return and at the needle in his arm. And he about passed out. I was seeing the technician, like, come running over and start, like, fanning him. And it was like, Open your eyes, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I feel like I'm going to throw up. And so they gave me like a, a barf bag. And I was sitting there like, I hope he does not throw up because I will throw up. <laughs> Thankfully he didn't and then it passed, but. He ended up being okay and they got him all unhooked. Like, they had to give him back like his, uh, his blood and his like saline. And you're like, yeah, just like don't look at the needle and <laughs> But I guess it was like his first time donating. And so he was right next to me, so I couldn't like really see him very well because we have like a machine between the two of us. But like the lady who was donating across from him told him, she was like, yeah, you were like completely pale. Like you were like white as a ghost. <laughs> I love the whipped cream on this. So good. Oh. Mm. Maybe we can get a cute little thumbnail and me drink it out of a straw instead of taking a giant bite of food, huh? Mm. So good. My mom, she watches my mukbangs and she said that I should stop trying to take my thumbnail picture in the mukbang. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> The older I get, the more okay I am with onions as long as they're cooked. Still not a fan of raw onions, but... Mm. 
I can definitely eat some some cooked ones now. Do you guys eat a steak and shake a lot? I like. I never go here. <laughs> not some place that I go often. Well, I go there for milkshakes more than anything, but I never think to go eat at Steak and Shake. I think it's because when you think Steak and Shake, you kind of categorize it as being like fast food, but like it takes forever to get your food. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get this bag out of the way. You guys know what I'm eating. You guys understand. You get it. We're, we've been there. <laughs> when I think about fine dining, I don't think steak and shake. You know? Mmm. Good burger. So I have the uh, double cheeseburger. It's got cheese, lettuce, pickle, mustard, and ketchup on it. So good. Oh my gosh. I'm so hungry. As mentioned before, in case you didn't already know, I'm hungry. <laughs> So I don't like have a whole lot to talk about. I don't know, like this past weekend was Memorial Day weekend. And so I had to work on Monday. And it's so, like my whole week just feels like it's been thrown off. Like it's Wednesday now and it feels like Tuesday to me. So we're working on putting in a privacy fence around our yard. And how our yard is set up is we have a double lock. In case anyone is new and doesn't know and or I don't know if I ever talked about it on the mukbang channel. I'm putting my uh, mukbang videos on my main channel and my mukbang channel so mukbang crowd might not be up to speed but the house next door to us had a fire back in May, end of May, and we bought the property, bulldozed the house, and now we're looking to put in a privacy fence. And so, if you want any more information on that, I'll leave links to my main channel where there's more in-depth videos on the house fire and all of that. But anyways, uh, we are wanting to put in a privacy fence, and so we called the city to find out city ordinances, what are we allowed to do? Where's it gotta go? Do we need to have a building permit? Blah, blah, blah. My city does not require a building permit, but we are not allowed to run the, the uh, we're not allowed to run the privacy fence down by the sidewalk, which is such BS. They said that it has to square off at the front corner of your house and go from there. So we wanted to take it out past our house and along the side. Like it wouldn't go in front of our house, it would go the opposite direction because we bought the land next door. We wanted to take it down by the sidewalk, but they said we can't do that. So now it's like we're going to have probably, I'd say every bit of five feet wide plus all the way down. I don't know, I don't know how many feet, probably a couple yards or more of front yard space. And it's like, we're never going to use that. What are we going to do with all of that yard? Like such a waste. And it's going to look dumb. It's going to look so dumb. So kind of aggravated about all that, but. What are you gonna do, you know? And I went up to the building commission's office this morning to talk to them because when we were on the phone yesterday, we thought, well, maybe they didn't understand what we were saying. Maybe they thought we were gonna put the privacy fence like in front of our house, which I can understand why a city wouldn't want people putting privacy fencing in front of their house. Like that would just look tacky. And so I went there to like better explain it. 
and the lady was kind of snotty and was like, I talked to somebody about this yesterday and I told them blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I know, I just want to make sure like we were like completely clear on all of this and like it's not going in front of a house and like I have pictures. And she goes, oh, I have pictures. And I said, well, the pictures I have show like there's no house in the lawn. She goes, well, it doesn't matter and I understand what you're talking about and blah, blah. Oh my gosh, she was just kind of rude. Like... If that's what it is, that's what it is, but like, you don't gotta be rude to me just because I wanted to come in for better clarification, right? Like, I would be totally ticked off if we did the fence starting off at the corner of the house and took it down and then later on found out we could have took it up to the sidewalk, you know? And like, if they just misunderstood what we were saying. So, and I wasn't rude to her, I just wanted to get clarification and make sure. Are we even filming? Yes, we are. I think. Yes, we are. We are, we are filming. We better be filming. You can't really start over. <laughs> like, I, I get it's annoying to have to, like, answer the same thing twice. I get it. But, like... I just wanted to make 100% sure, you know? And I brought it up to her. I said, well, there's other people who have their fencing down to the sidewalk. And she goes, yeah, well, they didn't check ordinances. And if anybody complains about it, we can find them. We will follow it up. It's like, okay, then. So what are your thoughts on mint chocolate chip milkshake? Let's have a discussion down below. I seen a thing from BuzzFeed floating around the other day about how milk chocolate chip milkshakes are like the worst or whatever. Or well, not necessarily milkshakes, but like mint chocolate chip flavor. And I'm like, you stole my heart. <laughs> I love mint chocolate chip. I would have rather had a mint chocolate chip, but you had to get one of the classics, which is strawberry, chocolate, or vanilla. Maybe banana. I'm not really sure. These fries are not very good. I'm cold very fast. Yeah, I was, I was shocked to see that article, like... My husband doesn't like mint chocolate chip, but I do. I can appreciate a mint chocolate chip milkshake. That is probably my favorite milkshake flavor. He agrees. <laughs> I'm going to go give him, my toddler, some of these french fries. Because he is a french fry fan, and I don't plan to eat them. So I gave him about half of my french fries. So I've got the rest. So what prompts us putting in a fence so soon is that our neighbors over the weekend were having parties for Memorial Day and they were like letting people park in our yard. We had to go tell them to have them move. Like, so rude. And they chain their they chain their dog up to a tree that's kind of on the property line, 
and the chain is so long that it like gets into our yard and does its business. So we're just gonna put up a privacy fence and be done with it. So when it comes to the front where we're going to have like all that empty space like that we can't fence off, I told my husband we should plant fruit trees. There's this kind of apple tree that like his uh, sister has. I don't remember what they're called but the tree itself just kind of grows straight up and is pretty small like it doesn't get very big. And that would fit perfect. So I think we could probably fit three or four in the front yard and just have apple trees. I wouldn't mind having like several different fruit trees, but that's not a very big space. Like we need something that stays small. The other thing I thought of was I could put in a garden, but I feel like if we put in a garden, like we'd need to fence that off. Otherwise, people would like get into it, you know? Like I can just see my neighbors coming out and like picking my vegetables. Unless oh, there's tomatoes in this. I do not like tomatoes. I do not. You guys need to come out. Not invited to the party. So I've been vlogging all week. I've been vlogging the last couple of weeks. I don't know why I brought that up. I've just been vlogging. Thought you might want to know. <laughs> this morning, <clears throat> I worked on closing off my, uh, it's in my basement here. It's, um, my uh my crawl space because my cats get back in there and it goes back a ways and I worry I mean they're still pretty young right now but I worry about them getting older or like what if they get sick or something and I worry about them going back there and dying and then us not being able to get them out so because <clears throat> that crawl space is for accessing the water underneath of my bathroom so like the Part of the crawl space is it goes underneath of the bathroom. It's completely open. But then there's like half a wall. More than that really. But the crawl space continues back around that wall. So like if they went back up in there, like we wouldn't really be able to get to them. It would be really hard to get them out. So we took lattice. If I think about it, I'll insert a picture. But we took lattice and covered up that hole. All this radish. Ugh, not a big fan. Is that radish? Or is that purple cabbage. Either way, I don't like cabbage, but it's got to be cooked, and I'm not a fan of radishes. Ever. At all. I had a salad at work the other day, and it was one of like pre-made salads that they offer at the cafe where I work, and it was like, it had chicken, it had avocado ranch, it had croutons, cheese, tomatoes, and onions, and I do not like raw onions, and I do not like tomatoes. And so I sit there and picked everything off. And I'm not a big fan of avocado. I try to like avocado. I know it's good for you. I tried avocado so many different times. The last time I had it was um, on a bagel with everything bagel seasoning on it from Tones. And that was okay. Like I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it, but it wasn't bad. But I just, overall, not a fan of avocados. I never have been. Um, and so I bought a separate thing, a ranch, at the cafe. So I didn't have to use the avocado ranch. And like my coworkers were making fun of me. And they're like, what's going to be left on that salad? You're taking everything out of it. And they're like, well, I don't exactly need to pick what comes on here. Oh, it had egg on it. I took that off. Never been a big fan of egg on my salad. Not my thing. So now we just have 
lattice and croutons. I figured there'd like at least be cheese on here. So if you guys are eating with me, let me know in the comments below. I want to know what you're having for lunch, or dinner, or breakfast, or a snack. Oh. We lost a crouton. Man overboard. I think the dog got it. I'm not going to bother with the rest of that because it's not a very good salad. Well, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe down. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I really want to grow this channel and make it bigger. So make sure you stick around for my next videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next one.